What's going on YouTube? It's your boy. This is a follow-up video to Luke Zion uh, rant slash review that I, a video that I uploaded a few weeks ago. Um, it is currently 6.53 in the morning. I have not slept. I tried. I just couldn't. It is what it is. Um, and instead of using my shitty uh, phone quality, I figured, you know what, let me just, uh, you know, let me just do the video off my computer. So, this video is uh, pretty much me showing my appreciation to Luke Zion. I mean, what can I say? The dude's quick, he's responsive, he's professional, um, you know, he's on top of shit. And I say this with everything, you know, uh, whether you fix shoes, bikes, chains, do side projects, electric work, yard work, uh, sell chains, you know, at the end of the day, a hustle is a hustle. But more importantly, uh, is not only the dedication to the hustle and to stick with it is to be on top of your customers. Now, in my previous video, I don't think I came off too much of an asshole. I, I think I was, you know, kind of level headed for the most part. Um, you know, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, I, I pretty much gave the dude the benefit of the doubt, you know, technically should you check every chain before you ship them out? Yeah, I'm just going to say yes, but you know, I'm assuming the dude's a one man army. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't, you know, um, and when you buy in bulk, you know, that's a lot of chains. And when you're buying Italian jewelry, you know, it that's the thing with Italian jewelry. It's not like it's just, you know, some chains that you got from China that, you know, who knows where they're manufactured, what they're manufactured with. Are they telling the truth? You know, it's Italian jewelry. My dude had, you know, a two millimeter or 1.5, two millimeter Franco chain. I forget what it was for like three years, you know, and it got snagged on something a few years back and broke. It was 14 karat or 10 or 14 karat. I'm pretty sure it was 14 karat, you know, but it was an Italian chain. And if it wasn't for that, you know, unfortunate event, I'm pretty sure two years later, he'd still have his chain. Excuse me. You know, so. I'm pretty sure I said it in the last video, but I think I was just unfortunate. I think I just had bad luck, you know. It was my first chain buying for myself. I just wanted something, you know. I mean, you guys can see it. You know, it's nice. Diamond cut, four and a half millimeter, sterling silver. You know what I'm saying? Um, by the way, I'm not going to make this video too long. It's it's three minutes in right now. Uh, I'll probably make it to like four or five, whatever. I don't have much to say, uh, you know, to be honest. <laughs> you know, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. The dude reached out, you know. He... Shout out to him, for real. He's a real one. Um, now, I can't say, uh, talking about uh, the return policy, the seven days, you know, I'm not saying that um, anyone can be an exception. You know, I, I didn't make the video to, like, beg for a return or a refund or nothing like that. You know, I just voiced my opinion, and, you know, sometimes that could be the or that is the most impactful thing at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Besides the professionalism of the company and how they showcase themselves. But at the end of the day, I think there's really nothing more um, impactful than, you know, what uh, a customer can say. You know, you can you can hear a hundred good things, but then you hear one, two, three, four bad things and you're like, eh, you know what I mean? After you just heard a hundred good things, you know, so... Um, and I, and again, I don't think I was shitting on the dude in the previous video. That wasn't my goal, not my intention. I'm not saying I did, but you know, who knows in this crazy, in this crazy world and how the internet is and how people can perceive things, who knows? Maybe one person got the wrong idea, whatever. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. Um, shout out to Luke, man. That's all I got to say. Uh, I'm going to leave the website down below. Uh, LukeZionJewelry.com um, You know, if you're looking for silver, you know, consider them. And all I can say is, uh, for my personal experience, you know, he'll look out. Again, I don't think you'll make too many exceptions, but if anything, just talk to him. We're all human beings. He's a human being. I am. You are. We all are. You know what I mean? Um, I, I Also, last thing I want to just mention 
uh, before I wrap up the video, you know, and I'm pretty sure, I mean, shit, I did fast food for three years. I worked with customer support technically, not like the role customer support. I didn't answer phone calls or anything like that, but dealing with customers, whether you're a cook, a, reg a cash register, uh, water mitigation, whatever, you're doing some type of, you know, when you're dealing with customers on a day-to-day -day basis, you're doing some type of customer service, you know, um, depends on how you look at it. And it ain't easy, you know, God forbid in the jewelry game. Are you, are you kidding me? Just like any other, uh, um, career path or whatever uh, field you that you're in, customer support or customer service <laughs> ain't all that easy. You know, you deal with assholes every now and then. And in jewelry, man, I could see so many people just trying to finesse shit. But anyway, before I you know go off the rails uh, on this video, um, just to wrap it up, you know, I appreciate everyone that. If you came from the previous video, I appreciate your comments, likes, you know, whatever. I just appreciate the uh, interaction. I spent about 30 minutes, you know, after I realized I wasn't going to fall asleep. I spent about, you know, 30, 45 minutes just, you know, reading comments, responding, this, that, and the third. You know, hey, whether you hate me or love me, uh, appreciate what I do. You don't, you know. Uh, you want to leave a hateful comment, like, dislike, you know, hey, I just appreciate the interaction at the end of the day. Um, but with that being said, uh, let me know down in the comments below, you know, what kind of change you guys, you know, have. What do you want to get? What did you have? Any bad stories? Shit breaks? Stolen? Snatched? Gave it to a friend and <laughs> he uh, permanently borrowed it, you know? So uh, tell me down below. I'd love to hear your stories. I'd love to hear any custom pieces what are your favorite chains all that type of stuff all that type of stuff so uh yeah guys that's pretty much it loot real dude um and yeah that's pretty much it for the rest of the video so with that being said uh good morning <laughs> have a great day try to be safe in this crazy ass world and uh shit we only got a few more months before 2020 is over and i'll tell you what out of all the hype that we made 2020, you know, uh, all the hype that we made up for 2020 back in 2019, this shit sucks, bro. This shit sucks. But, yeah, chain looks nice. I'm satisfied. This shit should last a couple years. Uh, tell me your stories down below. And with that, have a nice day, y'all.